Hi guys. Do you want to capture every detail with precision and control in your civilian camera system? Now today we are going to discover the power of the high power PTZ camera and pair it with the 90 watts PoE++ injector and let's unlock the civilian capability and ensure the seamless power delivery for your security needs. And if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below and we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you for completely free of charge. So POE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It is an awesome technology, allows for the transmission of electrical power along with data over a single Ethernet cable. It can eliminate the need for separate power cable and enable the convenience of powering network devices such as IP cameras, wireless access point, and VoIP phone. Now, standard PoE typically can deliver up to 15.4 watts and PoE Plus can deliver up to 30 watts and high power PoE offers significantly high power level to meet the demand of power hungry devices and also it is known as the PoE++ which can provide up to 90 watts of power over a single Ethernet cable. So now let's move on to the demonstration board and check out our PDZ camera and the whole setup. Now we are in front of the board and today we are going to connect with the PDZ camera. Now this advanced camera offers unparalleled control and flexibility allows you to remotely pan, tilt and zoom to capture detailed images across the wide area. Now with the high resolution video capability and powerful zoom lens, the PDZ cameras provide enhanced monitoring for security application. And some PDZ camera even has the heater or sensor. And those PDZ cameras actually require even higher power budget. And to seamlessly hook up a high power PDZ camera, the PoE technology comes into play. By utilizing a PoE switch or a PoE injector that is compatible with 90 watts PoE++, the power and data can be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. It can simplify the installation and provide reliable power source for your PDZ camera. So today we are going to use this 90 watts PoE injector. Now, this is a safe and reliable device which enable users to create a PoE system with a high power budget. It can satisfy various high power applications. You can take a closer look here. It has a 1000 megabit per second Ethernet input port and a 1000 megabit per second PoE RJ45 output port and it is also compatible with 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard. Remember I said there are PoE, PoE+, and PoE++. So actually what are the differences? Now, remember I said PoE Plus and PoE are actually using the two twisted pair in the Ethernet cable. However, PoE Plus Plus are using all four pairs of the twisted wires in the Ethernet cable. That's why it can deliver high power. And now I'm going to connect everything together. So as you can see, the monitor is already connected to our MVR and first of all, we are going to use a short patch cord to connect our router with the MVR. And then use another Ethernet cable here to connect our main network router with the PoE injector. And make sure you plug it into the data input port. And then using another Ethernet cable 
to connect with the PoE output port and use it to connect with our PDZ camera. And it should get in power soon. Here we go. An image will show up already. And you can see this is a live video. So the whole setup is done. And here are a few more tips for you. You have to be careful of the power budget since there are power loss in line. So the output power of the PoE injector needed to be higher than the PoE consumption of your connected edge devices. And not only we have a 90 watts PoE injector, we also have a 60 watts PoE injector available. And second, if you're connected to a non-PoE PDZ camera or other high power devices, you can work with a 90 watts PoE splitter to get the power and data over the single Ethernet cable. And since today we're using a PoE enabled PDZ camera, so we don't have to worry about it. And if you have more than one device that requires high power, you can always use a PoE switch that supports high power PoE. And here's the video on how to use a 802.3 BT standard PoE switch to install multiple high power devices. And thank you so much for watching us today, and I'll see you next time.